Hey and welcome to the Japan Online Channel. Well, tomorrow, December the 14th, is a general election day here in Japan, or as it's been called, a referendum. Today is uh, Sunday, uh, the Saturday before it, and in Shizuoka, the third area of Shizuoka, uh, we have three candidates, uh, Koyama, Matsu, 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 Ura and uh, Miyazawa-san uh, as our three candidates and this is actually um, a little bit early I think the actual election is meant to be next year and the the present government has decided to bring it forward because uh, they think that probably next year they won't have the as much support as they would now uh, and may not be vo voted in as the government. So Pr Prime Minister Abe, Abe has brought it forward so that he can win it. Uh, I think that's pretty obvious. Uh, there's not the, on the other and the other parties. There's not a candidate that's going to be able to to beat him. So he's uh, brought it forward to so that he could probably uh, win it quite comfortably. Not that I'm saying that he's uh, the right man for the job or not, but still he's uh, got more support. And so around the city you see various things like uh, small posters like you see in front of us, uh, in front of you with uh, the uh, candidate's name and, and the the uh, party they're with and that's about it. Sometimes you get some little political message but not uh, too often. And uh, as you saw in a previous uh, video that uh, there is uh, some like a, a billboard with the candidates uh, faces on it and showing you who's running and for what area. And this is uh, just uh, on a random corner. The posters are usually just posted on the side of a fence and that's it. So as you get closer to election day, you start to see this, which is um, a, a van with the, uh, I guess, the uh, the political leader in this area driving around waving and someone screaming out the, uh, the, uh, the leader's name. Let's have a listen. So it's probably not as loud as uh, you would it would be if you were outside, and it can be quite annoying. But still, uh, I think it gets the message along. It just says the candidate's name, uh, the party they're with, and sometimes they do say the policies, but not often, not, not often. And they do say a lot of thank you, thank you, thank you. So about a week ago, we received our voting papers. Well, I, I didn't. Uh, my wife did, who's Japanese, and she's able to vote. I'm not, uh, because I'm not uh, Japanese or I'm uh, or not legally allowed to vote. And so this is what it looks like. It basically, just on the front there, just says that uh, when it is and it, what it is. So it's the 47th general election. And on the back here, it uh, shows us that if we if you can want to vote but can't make it on the day then you're allowed to vote uh, between the 3rd and the 13th of December and what uh, you need to fill out and, and uh, where you need to drop it off so that's one side it actually opens up uh, so you'll be able to get uh, a few more pages which will show you and uh, in my case or in my wife's case she's the only one in this family uh, in this house that can vote so it's only directed to her and uh, at the top of this page here it shows her details where she's allowed or, or, or which section she's allowed to vote in Japan and how many votes she's allowed to have below there's a couple of, of what looks like a, a lot of asterisks is filled out if there was a other another person in this fan in this household that could vote then their details would be also uh, on this voting paper and would they'd be able to to rip it off and take that piece of paper that, that card or to the voting station and vote so uh, yeah and this again just shows you what when it is uh, where, what time it is and uh, and on, again on the back there it shows you if you want to vote on a different day so something uh, maybe a little bit different I don't know from other countries but thought you might enjoy having a, a, a bit of a look at it and of course, like I said, the, 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 the general election or referendum was supposed to be held next year or the year after. I'm not sure, but uh, the present government, Prime Minister Abe, decided that um, he would bring it forward. Mainly because he probably wouldn't have the uh, the power, the, the, the majority of the vote next year when uh, the actual election would be held. So he's decided to, to bring it forward where right now he's the main guy. He's probably the person who would win the majority of the votes uh, and the other candidates from the other party 
parties uh, just just don't have the support right at the moment. So I guess you could say it's a good political move, or you know he's uh, just trying to 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 to, to make it uh, to win it. You know under the the, the, the rules that are set uh, out and. Um, uh, it's a, it's a shame actually because I don't think he would actually be voted in next year because of some of his policies raising the taxes uh, you know starting up the military again uh, what he's done with Fukushima and various other laws that he's sort of brought in and the, the the people are sort of getting sick of him from what I've been hearing but anyway it's not my my job to sort of you know say who's right and who's wrong because I can't vote so um, yeah but anyway thanks for watching if you haven't already Click on the big red button there and subscribe. We put out two or three videos a week about uh, life in Japan, uh, Japanese culture, and various other things about uh, living here. Um, and we have a couple of videos that uh, you, I, I thought you might enjoy. The top one there is like a million crows. Well, at least it looks like it, and it feels like it. There's just these crows just flying around, hundreds of them. And uh, I thought you'd enjoy seeing that. And below there you have a, a yakiniki restaurant uh, here in Japan, and what it's like to eat there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Later.